Now, um, we got a big fight coming up, Mexican showdown. I don't know. I, 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 I tend to start saying that every fight's a big fight. I got to slow it down. <laughs> I got to slow it down, especially with all these fights that just happened this year. I got to slow it down. A good fight, a Mexican showdown. Now, um, Navarrete versus Oscar Valdez. It's uh, it's going to be a fun booth fight. Who do you who do you favor? Do you know uh, anything about those two? I know you know about Oscar Valdez. But what about, I, about Navarrete? I, 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 I just can't grow on Valdez, man. Good kid, but... I might be wrong, man. I just, just don't look confident to me, man. I mm. don't seem like he believes in himself. But I could be wrong. Mm. I could be wrong. He can punch, though. They both can punch. That's for sure. Yeah. You favor, so you favor Oscar in that fight? Yeah, it's 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a 50-50 fight as well. It's 50-50. You know, you you also mentioned that Tank can still make 130. When I mentioned this to other coaches, when I mentioned this, nobody believes me. Like they they they, they seen Tank go up to 40. They don't they don't know Tank like his day ones no. Of course, that's what I was gonna say. Like how how are you gonna know when you're day in day out with your coaches and you got a scale in the gym and you guys are constantly weighing each other? I think it's cause. He he hit so damn hard, they don't think he can make one thirty. But yeah, it's bigger fights at thirty-five, though. There's bigger fights at thirty-five. Yeah. So you think like, you know, the the higher chance of you know Tank, you know, getting people out of there at one thirty-five, and then maybe be moving back down five more pounds to maybe collect titles at thirty, depending on if the fights are big enough are more likely than going up to 40? Or do you think 40 is more likely? Uh, um, either or, but I, as you get older, it makes sense to go higher north than south, you know what I mean? Right. You know, it makes it make more sense to go north. That's crazy, Coach, because 140 is starting to get, it, it's going to get real hot. Real soon, everyone's moving up, and when that time comes, it's gonna be great. You know, uh, hopefully everybody's ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> right. But what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? Make sure you guys smash the like button. I'm gonna break down this Navarrete versus Oscar Valdez fight just a little bit more. So both of these guys are coming off of impressive wins. Um, I don't have a horse in this race. I do think it's a 50-50 fight, and I'm going to let you guys know why. Um, first off, I don't believe that both of these fighters are great boxers, but um, they're pretty good at what they do. Um, they both load up on their punches um, a lot, especially Oscar Valdez when he really wants to get you out of there. Oscar Valdez is, is kind of in a height deficit and an arm reach deficit as well. Uh, Navarrete, you know, he's, he's a, you know, for campaigning at 130 pounds, he's 5'7 with the 72 inch arm reach, which is kind of wild. Um, he even jumps into his punches and he's a big volume puncher. Um, very explosive fighter. Uh, so he's very awkward and he's, he's known to like get the job done, you know, um, his chin has been tested against a Liam Wilson in his last bout, um, but Liam Wilson wasn't able to get him out of there. Um, both of these fighters have great heart, um, you know, even to the point of Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez has, you know, in this fight, which is something that I think we have to, like, look into, um, you know, he broke his rib. And I noticed that uh, in his last bout with Adam Lopez, Adam really didn't throw too many body shots. Adam was definitely just, you know, moving around um, and boxing, wasn't really sitting down on his punches. I love Oscar Valdez's jab. He times his jab very well. He has pretty good distance on it as well. This fight is so 50-50, and it's so underrated as well. I know all the Mexicans are definitely going to be tuning in, so I believe that guys, like if we're talking about, you know, the Anthony Joshua and uh, Helena's fight, that's cool and all. The zone, this fight right here, though, is definitely going to steal the show uh, for tonight's boxing, for sure. Um, 
both of these guys i mean now that it's 20 28 years old oscar valdez i believe is like 32 years old um so pretty much around the same age gra bracket and um it's just the wear and tear in both of these guys i mean i i noticed that oscar valdez has a lot of wear and tear in this fight i believe that this fight don't go the distance though i i, I just can't see it i can't see this fight going the distance because of the dog that these both guys carry um but nevertheless it could probably go the distance due to the fact that they have so much dog and they're going to be showing it um and then the same token if i do see oscar valdez you know with the ko i also see oscar valdez you know probably like uh counter punching into a, a big shot most likely the left hook um you know he could possibly hurt him in the body as well um, Oscar Valdez is the shorter guy, so he's going to have to be able to get inside. So body attack is going to be very important in this fight. Definitely they believe that he's going to have to shoot, uh, you know, shots in between uh, Navarrete's punches to be able to get that um, counter punch uh, knockout. Um, if that's possible and if it happens, I mean, great for Oscar Valdez. He's definitely um, a very popular fighter. He's working with uh, Eddie Venoso still. Um, so let's see what happens. Um, if we do see a, uh, a KO from Navarrete, I think it's more of the referee stopping it due to the volume punching and uh, Oscar Valdez getting hit with a big shot and not necessarily doing, not defending himself. Uh, when Navarrete smells blood, he goes crazy. He's, there's nobody like him. Um, I call him the octopus of the 130 pound. Um, you know, this, he's moving up his three weight division he is the champion um this is a fight that a lot of people have been wanting to watch um so for the boxer fans that don't really you know know about boxing and don't really know about these names definitely tune in on espn plus uh top rank um this is definitely going to be the main event and this is definitely one of those fights uh to look out for so much love to you guys please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video much love to you guys one